Some Republican leaders are calling the very latest comments from a presidential contender divisive. But this time, those comments are not coming from Donald Trump. They are from Dr. Ben Carson, heard live right here on NBC on Meet the Press this morning. And they come just days before he is scheduled to be right here in Cincinnati. WLWT News 5's Tammy Mutasa has more on his comments and what local leaders, including some Muslims, are saying. Tammy? Curtis, Dr. Ben Carson will have a rally at the Sharonville Convention Center on Tuesday. Today, local Republican Party leaders and Muslim advocates agree his comments on Meet the Press are not helpful to this country. I would not advocate that we put a Muslim in charge of this nation. I absolutely would not agree with that. Before Dr. Ben Carson comes to rally in Cincinnati, his comments saying he would not support a Muslim president in the United States are being challenged. It's not only very bigoted and uh, very shocking, but again, it goes against our Constitution. There is no religious test for public office. Karen Dapdupe, the executive director for the Council on American Islamic Relations, says Carson's comments divide Americans. Someone from a minority community bashing another minority community, it wasn't that long ago that there were some Americans who were saying that a black man could never be the president of the United States. And now he's turning around and saying this about another minority community kind of blows your mind. Hamilton County GOP Chairman Alex Triantafilu says Carson's comments are not helpful to grow the Republican Party. The American voters decide who gets to be president. And if, if one day in this country's history they decide to select a, a Muslim as president, we should respect the will of the people. The comments come after a Donald Trump supporter accused President Obama of being a foreign born Muslim and called Muslims. Problems. You know, there are Muslims who I know who are committed conservative Republicans, so they certainly would be welcome in our party and they would be welcome to be elected if they were the best qualified person for the job. Dr. Carson's campaign responded to the backlash of comments saying he will likely now reach out to the Muslim community. Tammy Mutasa, WLWT, News 5.